Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tony, and today Apple releases its 10th update to iOS 11, being iOS 11.2.5 to the general public. Now this software doesn't add too many outward facing changes or any new features to the OS, just like 11.2.1 and 11.2.2 for that matter, 11.2.5 is mainly focused around security updates and enhancements. As an example, 11.2.5 patches the bug which allowed Mastery's GitHub link to freeze the Messages app and entirely crash some iOS devices. So from a jailbreaking perspective, I would highly suggest to avoid this software update if you intend to jailbreak in the future. There have been no kernel level vulnerabilities discovered or released since Ian Beer's async wake, which was patched in 11.2, and for all iOS iterations newer than that, 11.2.5 included. But if you are on say 11.2, 11.2.1, or 11.2.2, I would still suggest to stay there, as it's always a good idea to stay on the lowest iOS version as possible. Anyway, stay tuned for a new update on jailbreaking in general tomorrow, and subscribe if you want to be notified if 11.2.5's jailbreak status changes. But on the other side, if you don't care too much about jailbreaking, I would suggest to install this software update as it patches a ton of security holes and fixes several bugs found in the current OS. Apple added updates to CarPlay, Messages, and Mail apps as well as introducing official support for Apple's new HomePod, which we just discovered this morning will be released February 9th, and pre-orders begin this Friday. Also, as a quick side note, as well as releasing 11.2.5, along with that, Apple released a new beta for the HomePod's official firmware today as well. Anyway, back to 11.2.5. The official build number for this software is 15D60. If you want to install this, head over to the settings app and navigate to the software update page, and the update will be waiting for you there to install. And coming from 11.2.2 on my iPhone 6S Plus, the update was around 170 MB, but the size of this update will vary depending on what firmware you're updating from and which device you're updating. Anyway, to install this, first off, ensure your device is over 50% charged, and or plugged into a power source. Additionally, make sure your device is connected to a Wi-Fi network. And now with all these prerequisites taken care of, click install and the update will begin. Anyway, just to reiterate, if you intend to jailbreak, avoid this software at all costs. There have been no new kernel level vulnerabilities discovered or released since Ian Beer's async wake, which was patched in 11.2, and for all iOS iterations newer than that, 11.2.5 being included. Anyway, stay tuned for a new jailbreak update in general tomorrow, and subscribe if you want to be notified if 11.2.5's jailbreak status changes. Lastly, iOS 11.2.5 does not implement messages in the cloud. Apple is supposed to be releasing said iCloud messages feature that was pulled in an early beta of iOS 11. Many people are eagerly awaiting this, and as there's no sign of the feature in 11.2.5, we will hopefully see this in 11.3. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's quick video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on future iOS releases as well as jailbreaking related updates. Stay tuned for a more in-depth overview of jailbreaking coming tomorrow, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.